Use the Alt key to highlight objects on the ground and to assist with finding hidden objects. Use spacebar to loot everything in a container. If you hit shift and spacebar, you can use it to enter and exit turn-based mode. Hit your tilde key and it will highlight allies in blue. Your current character will have a white outline. Enemies are red. Potential enemies that you can talk to are yellow and friendlies will be highlighted in green. Shift shows enemies line of sight. Use while sneaking to stay hidden. The C key can be used to hide the current character. If you use Shift C, it hides the whole party. The G key will group and ungroup your party. They need to be close to regroup. M brings up your map and gives you access to all the waypoints. The I key opens the selected character inventory. Tab opens all the inventory so you can trade between characters. Use the tactical view hitting the O key for a top-down perspective, overcoming camera limitations and getting a better lay of the land. Use your quick save F5 key often and your quick load the F8 key as often as you can. Useful when you are exploring conversations and tactics for fights. Adjust auto save and quick save options in the game settings. If you have the hard drive space, increase the amount of maximum number of quick saves and make sure that the auto save is checked. If you are getting a lot of spike damage from enemies, you can uncheck the karmic dice. This may get resolved as everyone believes it's a bug during early access. Kill the demon on the Illithid ship. His name is Commander Zalk. He is worth a lot of experience and can bump you to level 2. The other important part is that he drops a really good two-handed sword called the Everburned Blade. There are a lot of ways to kill him. Here is the link to how I did it. Uh, be kind as it was one of my very first videos. Use high ground to gain plus 2 to attack rolls when attacking from above. Push enemies off elevated positions for extra damage or incapacitation. Barbarians can throw both items and enemies, so use this for advantage and let's be honest, it's a lot of fun. Send all supplies to your camp for organization and easier inventory management. Before engaging in important events or dialogue screens, fully rest at your camp to have all party members' ability bonuses available. You can place objects over traps or pressure plates. Stack boxes or other containers to reach elevated places, which can be very helpful for non-jumping classes like sorcerers and wizards. Always carry a shovel to unearth buried treasures. They appear based upon perception checks. Oh, 
make sure you have a good party composition. You can play without it, but it also makes the game a lot more enjoyable when certain roles are filled. Your characters can fill multiple roles. Make sure you have a frontline tank, healer, some type of spellcaster or ranged, and a class that can lockpick. Having a character who has a perception class skill helps to notice things like buried treasure and traps. Without that, someone who has a high wisdom will help. Lastly, make sure you talk to your party members when they have an exclamation mark above their heads. You can miss out on a lot of forward movement in the story or their companion quests if you ignore them. I will be releasing more tips and tricks for Baldur's Gate 3 in the next couple days, so stay tuned for those. Let us know your tips and tricks down below. While you are at it, please like and subscribe. It goes a long way to support the channel. I will see you all in the next video.